come out with their new ombre liners and I am so obsessed. I used the blue one today and they're seriously so much easier to use than you think. Like when I first looked at it, I was like, oh, how the hell am I going to use this? But once you see me use it, you're going to be like, wow, is that how easy it is? And I also played around with their new eyeshadow and highlighter pans. And oh my God, I'm obsessed. I'm wearing like the blue one today. I actually also used the pink one and the gold one. So I'm so obsessed with how this look turned out. So if you like it as well and you'd like to see how I created this look, then just keep on watching. All right, let's start on with primer. I'm going in with the Lasting Finish Primer by Rimmel and just dotting that all over my face and blending it all in. Then to give my face a little bit more moisture, I'm going in with the Insta Fix and Go Setting Spray and spraying my face before foundation. I'm using the Lasting Finish Breathable Foundation in the shade 400 and just popping that on with the applicator and then blending it out with a damp beauty blender. Then going in with one of my fave concealers, the Wake Me Up in the shade Creamy Beige and just popping that underneath my eyes to conceal and highlight. I'm placing that on my cupid's bow, on the bridge of my nose and then on my chin and then also blending it out with a damp beauty blender. Then to set the concealer, I'm taking the Rimmel Match Perfection Loose Powder and just placing that directly underneath my eyes to bake, just to ensure that the concealer doesn't crease throughout the day. And then to set the rest of my face, I'm just taking the Rimmel Stay Matte Translucent Powder and just using a large powder brush. I'm just using that all over my face to set my foundation. taking the Rimmel Kate Moss bronzing palette and I'm just like swishing all three colors and placing that on my cheeks to bronze up my face. Then to make my cheeks look a little bit more defined, I'm just taking more of that translucent powder and just popping that directly underneath my contour just with that damp beauty blender that we used before. Then going in with the Kate Moss blush palette and I'm just taking that middle coral shade and just popping that on the apples of my cheeks for that extra glow. Then I'm taking Rebel's new holographic eyeshadow and highlighters. I'm taking the iridescent sort of bluey purpley shade and oh my god, I was so obsessed. So I'm placing that on my cheekbones and just underneath the brow bone area. And then I'm also putting it on the other cheek. Oh my god, so obsessed. It just turned out so nice on camera. Then I took the goldy yellowy shade and just popped that on my cupid's bow and just down the bridge of my nose. Then I'm taking the Brow This Way Brow Pomade in the shade Medium. This has actually become one of my favorite brow products. I've been using this all the time. It's so quick and easy. Um, and I'm just really lightly filling in my brows. As you can see, it literally just took like two seconds to fill in my brows. So handy. Then I'm taking the Rimmel Magnify Eyes Eye Primer and just popping that on my lids and then just blending it all in. Then for eyeshadow, I'm taking the Magnify Eyes Nude Edition and I'm taking the matte browny sort of grey colour and just using that all over the lid. Then I'm taking the pink Rimmel Holographic Eyeshadow and Highlighter Pan and I'm just popping that on my brow bone and on the inner corners of my eyes.
Then just to bring some lightness back into the lid, I'm just taking that light sort of gray color and just popping that all over the lid and blending it in with the other shade. Then I'm taking the Rimmel Ink Me liner and just creating the tail of the wing first. And then I go ahead to fill in the tail and then I go in with the ombre liner. You'll see what I mean in a second. So I'm just carefully drawing the tail of the wing, filling it in, and then I'm grabbing the blue ombre liner, taking the blue side, and finishing off the wing by lining it with the blue. So as you can see, I'm just connecting the black and I'm pretty much putting that all the way across except for the littlest bit at the start because that's where we'll use the other end of the pencil and create the ombre look. And now flipping the pencil around to the white side and what I'm doing is I'm pretty much just going all the way from my inner corner all the way to the outer corner and as you can see it changes color to a really beautiful vibrant blue and that's how you get the ombre look. So, 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 so easy to use and I just love the way it looks. It looks absolutely beautiful and definitely festival appropriate. Um, and then I'm doing the exact same on the other side. So just going in with the black liner first, filling it in and then going in with the blue and then the white. And now onto lips, I'm taking the Rimmel Exaggerate Lip Liner in the shade Addiction and lining my lips first. And then to fill in my lips, I'm taking the Rimmel Stay Matte Liquid Lip Color in the shade Be My Baby and putting that all over. I'm obsessed with this color. It's literally the perfect nude. And then over top, I'm taking the new Lip Art in the shade Blush Gold. Oh my God, these are so gorgeous. And I'm just placing that over top and it's literally like a clear gloss with gold glitter in it. I'm so obsessed with how this looks. And then just to be a little bit extra, I'm taking some more of the holographic highlighter and just placing that on my cheeks just to give an extra little glow. And lastly, I'm just spraying my face with the Insta Set and Go Setting Spray. And that is the final look done. I hope you guys enjoyed watching and got some inspo. Um, don't forget to stay tuned to see some more festival looks and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys. What do we have to lose?